Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two chords uh, A, B, and uh, C, D that intersect each other at point uh, E in a circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, A, E is 6 uh, units, this segment uh, C, E is uh, 8, and finally, this uh, segment uh, E, D is going to be 18 units and as a result uh, we get uh, this uh, yellow shaded region this one and uh, this one and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region this area and uh, this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our strategy since this uh, yellow shaded region uh, area is part of this uh, whole uh, circle so therefore we must uh, calculate the area of this uh, circle first so in order to calculate the area of this uh, circle we must find the radius uh, of this uh, circle and now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect uh, in a circle uh, then the product of the measure of the segments of the chords uh, are equal as you can see in this given uh, diagram here we got these uh, two chords uh, a c and uh, b d and they intersect each other and as a result we get the segment uh, a b c and uh, d so therefore according to this theorem the product of uh, a times b is going to be equal to c times d as you can see in this uh, equation Let's focus on our this uh, given problem. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, segment EB as uh, X. Then according to this uh, theorem, the product of uh, 6 uh, and X uh, is going to be equal to 8 uh, times 18. So therefore I can write uh, 6 uh, times X uh, equal to 8 uh, times uh, 18. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by 6 so therefore our x value turns out to be if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 24 units so therefore uh, this segment uh, eb turns out to be 24 units and here's our next step i have dropped uh, this perpendicular of as you can see over here and likewise uh, i have dropped uh, this perpendicular op as well and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord so therefore we can see that this uh, perpendicular OF uh, bisects this chord AB into two equal parts that means uh, this uh, segment AF uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, BF and we know this whole uh, a b core length is uh, 6 uh, plus 24 is going to make uh, 30 units so therefore uh, this segment uh, f b is going to be 15 and likewise uh, this uh, a f is going to be 15 units as well and likewise uh, this uh, perpendicular o p bisects uh, this uh, chord uh, c d into two equal parts and we know this whole uh, c d chord length is uh, 18 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 26 uh, units so therefore half of this uh, chord uh, p d is going to be 13 and likewise uh, this uh, c p segment is going to be 13 units as well now let's make an observation we know that this uh, af segment uh, is uh, 15 and this segment uh, a e is uh, 6 so therefore uh, this uh, ef segment uh, is going to be 15 minus 6 is going to give us uh, 9 units so therefore uh, this side length uh, ef uh, of this rectangle turns out to be 9 uh, units and now let's focus uh, on this uh, segment uh, CP. It is uh, 13 uh, units. And this uh, segment uh, CE is uh, 8. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, EP is going to be 13 minus 8 is going to give us uh, 5 uh, units. 
So therefore, this uh, EP length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, turns out to be 5 units. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so therefore this side length OF is going to be 5 units and this uh, segment uh, OP is going to be 9 units as well. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this center O of this circle with this uh, point uh, B. As you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we get this uh, right triangle uh, OFB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this circle. Let me call this radius as lowercase r. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OFB whose uh, side lengths are uh, 5, 15 and radius r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our longest leg, the hypotenuse uh, of this triangle is uh, radius r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 15 whole square plus uh, 5 whole square equal to r square. So therefore, our uh, r square value turns out to be 200 and 50 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, given circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square and in our case we already figured out our r square value as 250 so therefore the circle area is going to be 250 times pi and in this uh, next step, I have drawn this auxiliary line uh, C prime D prime that is metric to this uh, called uh, C D. In other words, uh, the distance uh, from this uh, chord uh, to the center O is going to be equal to this uh, distance uh, from the center O to this line uh, C prime D prime. So therefore, if this uh, length is 9, then this uh, distance is going to be 9 units uh, as well. So therefore uh, this uh, distance, this length is going to be 9 plus 9 is going to make uh, 18. And likewise uh, I have drawn this uh, auxiliary line uh, A prime B prime that is metric to this uh, chord uh, AB. In other words uh, the distance uh, from this chord to this uh, center O is going to be equal to the distance uh, between this line a prime b prime to this center o as well so therefore if this uh, length is 5 then this uh, length is going to be 5 units as well so therefore this uh, whole uh, length uh, this side length is going to be 10 so therefore the side length of this uh, green uh, rectangle turns out to be 10 uh, and uh, 18 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, yellow region this uh, region, this uh, region, uh, this uh, yellow region and this uh, yellow region as well. Let me label uh, the area of this uh, yellow region as uh, A sub 1. The area of this yellow region, I'm going to label it as uh, A sub 2. The, this area is going to be A sub 3. And finally, this area I'm going to label as A sub uh, 4. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, region area is uh, symmetric to this one. So therefore, if this area is A sub 1, then this is going to be A sub 1 uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this area is going to be A sub 2 as well, since uh, these uh, two areas are symmetric to each other. And likewise, this area is going to be A sub 3, since this is uh, symmetric to this uh, area. And finally, A sub 4 is going to be A sub 4 as well, since they are uh, symmetric as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow region uh, area is going to be the sum of these uh, areas A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and uh, A sub 4, as you can see on the right hand side. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, circle. Its uh, total area is going to be this a sub 1 uh, and a sub 1 uh, makes uh, 2 times uh, a sub 1. Likewise, a sub 2 and a sub 2 makes uh, 2 times uh, a sub 2. Likewise, uh, a sub 3 2 times. 
as you can see over here finally a sub 4 and this a sub 4 makes uh, 2 times a sub 4 and plus uh, the green uh, rectangle area this uh, whole uh, area of this rectangle so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle whose uh, side lengths are uh, 18 and uh, 10 and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times uh, width so therefore the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle is going to be our length uh, is uh, 18 and width uh, is uh, 10 so therefore this turns out to be 180 and here's our final step we already figured out our uh, circle area as uh, 250 pi our green uh, rectangle area as 180 so therefore we can easily calculate the area of this uh, yellow region so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this left hand side is going to be 250 times uh, pi equal to 2 times uh, our this sum of the area a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus uh, a sub 4 and then uh, plus uh, 180 and now let's go ahead and subtract 180 from both sides this is uh, gone as you can see in this uh, next step we put down uh, this uh, left hand side equals to 250 pi minus 180 and now in this uh, next time I'm going to divide uh, each and every term by 2 and here we can see this 2 and 2 cancels each other out uh, so on the left hand side we got uh, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 equals to on the right hand side uh, this uh, reduces to 125 pi and this uh, minus uh, 90 on the right hand side and now let's make an observation we can see the sum of these uh, individual areas uh, equals to 125 pi minus 90 and also we can see that the sum of these individual areas uh, is equal to this uh, yellow region uh, area so therefore our yellow region area turns out to be 125 pi minus 90 so thus our yellow region area turns out to be 125 pi minus 90 square units and that could also be written as 302.7 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye